I've got to like kind of say it. Yeah, I, I see you wording the no. the words. You, I'm, I'm doing the intro? No, I'm, no, no oh, okay. I, you can do it. No, I don't want it. I like when you do it. Hello, and welcome <laughs> to the Corn Corner Podcast. I'm Wicked Ren, and I'm really thinking about the morality of Pikmin. Yeah. The video game. I got you. Where no. Omar, you... Th- Omar? That's a man's name. Oh, okay. He farms the Pikmin. I'm not that familiar with the lore in general. I'm Cam Damage, and there had to have been something that rhymed better with pony than macaroni. <laughs> Yankee Doodle. <laughs> On this episode, <laughs> we're going to be talking about something that is very comforting. Um, yellow in color. A lot of white in color. Peas are in it sometimes. Bacon sometimes. Peas. We're talking about the classic dish of macaroni cheese. I would say it's orange more than yellow. It's going to be an orange yellow. That works. And everyone here loves it. Yeah. So we're going to get right into it. The topic today is macaroni and cheese. Now, you'll know it when you see it. Yeah. That's one of the things about it. It's undeniable. It's undeniable that you'll see it. Upon viewing it. It's undeniable that yeah. you'll see it in front of you. Now... You can take Velveeta cheese, yeah. put it in a spaghetti. A spaghetti? That is macaroni and cheese. Not the spaghetti noodle. It's, it's got a... That's an interesting first topic to really get into with the mac and cheese. <laughs> is that I think you can you can make mac and cheese with noodles besides the macaroni noodle. Oh, yeah. But it cannot be some noodles. Like, you can't make spaghetti, spaghetti noodles. It can't be a long noodle. Because that's a different what dish. Is the, well, let's define what is, what is too long. It it oh, over an inch. So if it's under under an inch, yeah, you're good to go. Yeah, that's what I think. Um, wow. Yeah, because you can have the shells. You can use the the orchetti. You can. You say that pasta name a lot. It's because it's like <laughs> Brad and I's favorite. <laughs> it's never, just a circle. It's it's like a flattened shell. That's all me, it is. I know. Yeah, but um. Never you, potine. You noodles. do say that a lot. Yeah. Okay. So there used to be this restaurant called Semolinas. Yeah. Do you know it? No, I just know it's Semolinas. Yeah. Um, I used to call it Sembolina because mm-hmm. um, I was dumb. And oh. I used to get <laughs> bowtie noodles on everything because I thought it was just the most fun shape. I hate bowtie noodles. And I will say there was actually a study done in 2009 that said it was one of the most fun shapes. What was the population cap that was? Uh, it was done in the southern states. Yeah. That makes so, sense. So a little left to center there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I remember when the bow tie was introduced. When was that? It was a big, big day. When was it? It was in 1996. Okay. And um, a couple stores got it. And I remember people thinking to themselves, is this food? Is this for me? Yeah. These are awfully small to wear. Yeah. Yeah. And then people would boil them and then you put anything in those babies. I like a fusilli. What is that? The little corkscrew ones. You you know what are some other noodle shapes? Because you know them. Well, it's just like like gnocchi isn't a shape, but you know what? No, I, d- I just, <laughs> Yeah, like I mean, you know, you're familiar. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I know what a gnocchi is. Uh, Papardel. <laughs> oh, that's like a long one. The long, like thick ones. What is yeah. interesting? Papardel. Yeah. And fettuccine. Uh, I actually don't know. I think papardel are thicker. Okay. Uh, in in general. And are, I, those would insinuate to me a, a more of a homemade, or you get them not hard. Dried. Yeah. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. the word. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. it you, can do, you can get them soft. You know, <laughs> you know, you can buy them soft. Yeah. They come, they're in the refrigerator Fresh. section then. Yeah. Um, <laughs> have you ever made a noodle? Uh, no, but Brad does, and I have watched. Yeah. <laughs> I got, brad like uh (laughs) it's like uh for noodle making so you can make uniform shapes Mm. it has like strings on it as if it was like a like a guitar laid out yeah like 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 a lap harp yeah yeah exactly (laughs) it's one of those kind of deals um and he enjoys the pasta making process yes you really get lost in that and he he likes making ravioli more than other things what does he fill it with it depends on what's around, but, and usually he makes really big ones. So like the dish is like three raviolis. Oh, that's cool. Instead of like a bunch. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I like it. You like it more than small ravioli? No, 
but I don't have to do anything yeah. to eat. So whatever is happening is amazing. Good to go. <laughs> yeah. Um, I uh, sometimes I will get Trader Joe's has a cheap, cheap ravioli, cheese ravioli. Yeah. It really tastes like nothing. Yeah. Um, have you had them? I, it's like, oh, probably here. It's yes. like $2. Yeah. And I, it's more of a vehicle for other, like yeah. for the sauce or whatever else. Yeah, they really taste like nothing. Yeah, it's just like, it's like it could be just the pasta. Yeah. And that is all you're doing. All right, so peas in yeah. a macaroni and cheese. Never have I seen that. Is that a thing you do? Oh, yeah. Is it? Yeah, absolutely. Since when? Since like childhood? Well, I haven't, I haven't really looked at the research in a long time, but it did start. The research of your life? No, no, when peas kind of came into the macaroni game. Zeitgeist. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they're definitely, they're they're in there. I don't. You take a thing of peas, and then you can um, dump it in there. Frozen peas, baby. For why? It's great. Tastes good. D- Fun I, color. I, for the pop of color, it makes sense, but I feel like. They taste awesome. I feel like most peas don't taste like anything. If you had a peas? Yeah. The small green orbs? Yep. Yeah. I'm familiar. I love them. Yeah. I thought it was um, Dippin' Dots. First time I had peas. <laughs> Disappointed. Do you remember when Dippin' Dots came on the scene? Yeah. <laughs> I was with my grandmother. <laughs> Lost my shit. I, Hershey Park got a Dippin' Dots stand, and that was like, what? <laughs> like, They're it was like a really big good. Deal. I don't, I'm not a huge ice cream person in general, so I wasn't like, oh my God, like a, a new type of ice cream. I don't really, I don't. I just remember them being super cold. Yeah. And then they kind of mush. Yeah. The texture. I do like the astronaut aspect of it. Why do we always do this when we say texture? Crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> um, texture claws. <laughs> What's What was your, as a child, your go-to mac and cheese? Oh, that's great. My mom, one of the only things that I really remember her like eating all the time was the Blue Box Deluxe Mac and Cheese. And was that with a powder or the... the no, it had squeezy. squeezy. Yeah. It, had, it, was a, it was essentially Velveeta and yeah. shells. But it, it might have just some other craft stuff in it. version. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, we would have that often. Velveeta was mine. I didn't do the craft. I God. Don't. And then stir in that thing. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. The sound. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the sound in that, just wild. One of the... You talk about Alton Brown often. We love them. And one of the only, like, really the only recipe that, like, comes to mind is his stovetop mac and cheese. Because that was one of the first things that my mom, like, cooked based off of, like, a Food Network thing. What? Well, do you remember more about it? <laughs> I just, like, uh, it had mustard powder in it, which was a big, yeah. that was like a, like, oh, whoa, like, yeah. thing. And other spices that you wouldn't consider, like, I don't maybe, like, paprika, something. Um but that was like a big like, oh, we're making we're yeah some from scratch stovetop mac and cheese. Like, I wonder if he made a roux in it. Probably, I, don't, I think yeah, but I don't remember now anymore. It's surprising me that he would have a mac and cheese on Good Eats. I don't know. It must have been Good Eats. I mean, yeah, it was Good Eats. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was him on Food Network. But that was that was a big deal in our household. That's awesome. Yeah, that's like a labor intensive thing to make it was kind of and and i went on to do it more in adulthood until i was like i'm just gonna buy the velveeta and then i realized velveeta kind of tastes like shit it's fucking <laughs> not great like i think i had it fair not like in the past year but at some point recently and the last like few years and i was like what were we doing like what did we think we were doing yeah with this one i don't know not good Kenti has a mac and cheese recipe that's awesome. It's like really simple. I think it has condensed milk in it. That's Alton Brown's did too. I remember oh, cool. that. Yeah, yeah. This is like no steps. I don't. I don't even think it has a roux in it. I don't remember. I'm but it might. One. But it's awesome. It's super easy. Now, how do you feel about a baked mac and cheese? Oh, love it. Great. I don't. I feel like it dries the whole thing out. I lo- well, I guess I should say broiled then, because the top, top gets a little bit crumb, crispy. Yeah. I'm good with that. Yeah. Are you okay with that? As long as the 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 depth of it doesn't get dry because there's nothing worse than like, like you go to the hot bar at whole foods or, yeah. or, you know, Vons, whatever. I don't know. And I'm, we're in LA now, but you're a local now. <laughs> Vons. <laughs> and, uh, you're like, Oh shit. Mac and cheese. Stater bros. Yeah, you, I don't know. You know, and, and you, and you get it and you're stoked about it. And then you get home and it's like 
the driest, yeah. pastiest thing ever. And it's just because it's been like sitting there cooking under like heaters all day. Do you remember the KFC mac and cheese? Yes. That is good. That is good. KFC does sides very well. <laughs> we will say that. We've <laughs> talked about this specific KFC instance often, but that one time in the road trip and got KFC. Yeah. Raven was like, it's a KFC. And I was like, whatever. Yeah. I've done KFC in a while. Sure. And then it was like, damn, this hits. Now Raven was right. Yeah. I used to get fast foodish mac and cheese story. Uh, When I was at my first years of college at Brown, there was like an Aubon Pan, Aubon Pain, whatever. Oh, Pan. It's just called Aubon Pan. It's kind of the chain though? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, That was on my walk from the athletic field to my It's like that like French like kind of ish. Like it's like breads, (laughs) whatever. I like that place. (laughs) I did too. Uh, But they had a mac and cheese and I got it like every day walking home from practice and it was like, like I'd get a huge cup of it and just be like, fuck yeah. That's <laughs> and it, awesome. It was so good though. <laughs> um, what would you eat for like dinner? I don't know. Dining hall? Oh yeah, yeah, the dining hall. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. Probably. Um, Doesn't stick in the memory as much as the walk home mac and cheese. <laughs> I would like to do a, I, this, this exists already, but. Another coffee table book about what people eat for dinners. Like, it fascinates me what people eat on, like, a Wednesday night. In what way? (laughs) Like, you're at home. It's a Wednesday night. Yeah. It's you, you know, maybe a husband, maybe a kid. Mm -hmm. I thought you were talking about me, personally. I was like... Not a kid. Yeah. <laughs> but like like not 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 you. It's just like like so random. Anyone, like yeah. like a like a random. Yeah. Like what do my grandparents eat at night? Just not a, one that's not a planned like looking in the fridge, what am I gonna throw together? Kind of Or like what does the grocery shopping look like? What are your go to meals? Yeah. Like what's the most common go to meal in like America? That's wild to me. Yeah. Like what is someone that like doesn't cook very much? Like you can't take you as a thing, because like Brad is competent in the yeah. kitchen. I'm not saying I want to interview people that are incompetent, but it's just like people that like are like, yeah, I, I cook to eat food, like yeah. whatever. Like, what do what do these people eat? That's fun to me to think about, and I w- I would love to. But there's a coffee table book, and it's people's groceries for the week and them in front of them. It's fascinating. Oh, I feel like I've seen things of that. I probably sent you it. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, and it's really interesting to look at the socioeconomic disparities between what is bought, yeah, and like and the people in their homes, yes, and being like, oh, you're rich. <laughs> also, the um, it was like this specific one was all over the world. Oh, cool. So it was like a village. Yeah, and then it was like someone in Europe. Someone like it was really cool. Yeah. That stuff does interest me a lot. Also, just the act of grocery shopping in general and how, like, I I feel like I do go with the intention of of these are the meals I will make with these, and then I get home and put it away, and it's as if I was, like, what what could I possibly put together from these? Yeah, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) I felt felt like that when I lived with people. Yeah. But when I, like, you know, started living alone, I was like, oh – then it makes sense because yeah. everything like in and out is because of me. Yes. So it's like you can like you have inventory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like totally different. And then also shopping for like multiple people, you have to buy more food or you buy the same amount of food and it goes quicker. Yeah. So like you 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 also like can't plan like, hey, I'm going to like you came in, you noticed that I had one more peanut butter cup. Yeah. And that's because I'm going to the grocery tomorrow. Yeah. So you need and one I'm for today. Gonna, yeah. Yeah. So like I build these things in. But if I lived, like, you know, with, like, someone else, yeah. then I wouldn't be able to do that. Yeah, with two people, and like, me and two other people in the same house, it's definitely, like, yeah, it you, throws shit haywire. It really does. I kind of miss the days of, uh, in college, when Brad and I first lived together, and we were just so poor. Yeah. And we had three meals on rotation. Like, that was it. We, we like, like, three together dinners. Yeah. And it was, like... Uh, fish tacos yeah, that were just like with shitty tilapia or whatever from the freezer or something. And uh, <laughs> hot dogs were definitely in there, so maybe four. Peanut noodles and some egg thing. 
But yeah. it meant the grocery shopping every week was just so get easy. these seven things yeah. and like that's it and we know how much they cost and like <laughs> I've started um moving back into those things. Like I used to make a lot of red beans. Yeah. And I've moved back into doing that. Um I wanna do that more where you make something in bulk. Yeah. And then can come back to it through the week. Yeah. Macaroni and cheese turned into grocery shopping and dinners in general real quick. Well, I have some macaroni and cheese questions. Yeah. But I also stopped buying as many like <laughs> condiments as I was buying. We have so many. Yeah, I did too. And I was like, I put a pause on condiment buying. Yeah. I should make that a thing for the house as well. Because I was like, this is insane. Like, I don't I don't need like eight yellow birds. Yeah. It's a great condiment. But yeah. I don't need, I don't need that. I use like two hot sauces. I use my Valentina more than anything. Like Yeah, so I decided I was like, I'm only gonna have these things and I like that a lot more. Moving away from Seattle was really helpful in terms of grocery shopping because there was one grocery store there that had this soy sauce that Brad was obsessed with that was like twenty dollars a bottle or something. And we would just always get it and now I'm like <laughs> Thank yeah. God. Let's just it's just normal soy sauce is fine. Like the two dollar soy sauce yeah. is gonna be okay. <laughs> I started buying um large jugs of soy sauce. Yeah. Because I realized like I use it for everything. Yeah. And it's so much cost effective, so much more cost effective yeah. to like buy in a big jug. It's smart. Okay, so there's one question about macaroni and cheese. Since you were curious. Yeah. The Annie's shells. Yeah. I don't think they're good. Same. None of the Annie's mac and cheeses are good. And it's sad because you want them to be. Because I do like a lot of the other products that they offer. I know you do. But the mac and cheese, even I think they make the the squeezy pack ones. Do they? Yeah. And they're, it's still that. not very good. The thing that sucks is like you want it to be good because it's so fun. Yeah. The box. Yeah. You know, pour it. It's like so nice to do. It's something you have to dress up though. Yeah. Like gussy up with like a lot of butter and like milk or whatever. Yeah. And not just make it with water. Although the, the little craft microwave cuppies. Do those still hit? They're really good. I, like the, they believe you, you. They just add water and the powder packet thing. Honestly, very good. Okay. I believe you. I ate a lot of them. Uh, when I took care of Raven. Oh, um, cause she really likes them. Does she really? Yeah. That's cute. So I like had gotten a bunch of them in the grocery, whatever, Instacart, and then was like, I might as well try it out. Yeah. And I was like, oh, these awesome. Like, <laughs> I love this. <laughs> um, I have another macaroni and cheese story I want to bring up yep. that's related to you. <laughs> um, but I also like to say that while you're talking, I kind of like realize how weird what we're doing is. What do you mean? Like, talking, think about what we're doing right now. Talking about mac and cheese? No, it's like, yeah, it's like we're just in a room. Yeah. We're just talking to these microphones about mac and cheese Alone. to each other. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it's like so weird <laughs> to think about. That's what, If you think of any podcast too hard, it's going to be I know. like that. And be like, like There's like a camera we're recording ourselves talking about and getting real. I'm getting real existential right now. Yeah. Is that the word? Existential? Meta. Existential. Existential, sure. Existential? X. It's just X. Regardless. Yeah. Um, back to the important business on hand. Yeah. What's your mac and cheese story? <laughs> There's a mac and cheese that I love. I think it is oh, yeah. the best fucking mac and cheese. It blew my mind, people. Um, I discovered it. It's quite expensive. Um, per serving, cost about $10, $12. Is it really the thing? How much is it? Yeah. What? So what I started, this is a, I'll, I'll just, I'll lay in on the secret. It's a Beecher's frozen mac and cheese. And this is in LA as well, but they're a Seattle based cheesery and they make a, they make a cheese. They call it their flagship cheese. It is so fucking good. They make a frozen mac and cheese. Yeah. What I started doing because I didn't need to eat 8,000 calories of mac and cheese <laughs> was I cut them in half, like the big the block. block. Yeah. And then I save half. So it's not that bad, yeah. but I was really into it. And yeah. And I told you. Yeah. And I was like, I got to try it. And then you were excited. Yeah. You Bought tried it. it. Yeah. Didn't like it. You hated it. <laughs> it's like a stinky cheese. It's, I think it might be. It's like, I will say it's a mild stinky you, cheese. You called out what kind of cheese it is immediately. And you said, I don't like this kind. It's Fontana? Fontina. Fontina? Yeah. Fontana? Fontana? Isn't that a place? Brian Fontana? <laughs> um, fun, did, is that? I think it is Fontina. Yeah. And I don't like, I, I, I do like 
sharp cheeses. No, uh, 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 Gruyere is what yes, you Gruyere, said yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, It is that. I was um, shocked. Yeah. I just don't like those kind of. Because to me, I had it and I was like, there needs to be no other. Yeah. Even some, I'm pretty sensitive to the cheeses though. Like some breeze or two mm. cloying Brad to me. didn't like it either. No. He threw it away. Probably. I got so mad. I was like. <laughs> Save that for when I come up. <laughs> yeah. I was like. Um, but it was wild to me. You didn't like it. That's. I'm trying to think of one that I would like now. I used to like the Stouffer's. Like there, there's, there'd be like a Stouffer's like family mac and cheese thing that you would make in like the oven or something. Yeah. And that was a, that was a good one for a minute. I don't think any. At, the, at, at this point in life. If I can be perfectly candid, I don't think any pre-made mac and cheese from the like freezer or anything is going to be like good enough. Yeah. You know, something. And it's even hard for ones from like a restaurant to like hit well. I think I had one from Trader Joe's that was not very good. Yeah. One time. They have a vegan one that's like not great. There's speaking of vegan ones, there's a place in Seattle that does an amazing vegan is it like the cashew cheese kind of situation? Kind of. Yeah. Um, but it's Those like are always good. when it's hot and you eat it. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. I just feel like it's something you have to do often at home so you can be in charge of the like consistency. Yeah. Like the ratios and stuff. I don't because it, it can be too. Eh. Yeah. I like putting hot sauce on it. Also. Wow. It's a fun thing. If do you put pepper on it too? I do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So you got to salt and pepper it. Well, wow, you really step out of the box here. You know? Um, do you think that macaroni cheese is a comfort food for you? Not anymore. It was? Yes. It was definitely like a, I really want cheesy whatever. Yeah. And what's a better vehicle for cheese and warm cheese than a, a, a serving of mac and cheese? Yeah. I used no, to I get agree. like, <clears throat> we talked about pizza recently. I remember that. And... <laughs> And uh, uh, in Domino's talking, they also did like the pasta things. <clears throat> and they used to have, I don't think they have them anymore, but they had like pasta in a bread bowl. Uh, yeah. And I would get the mac and cheese one and it was like phenomenal. <laughs> my um, roommate for my like first year or something was the guitarist in my band. Yeah. And he worked at Domino's. Yeah. And this was during that time. So and much. I would eat, I ate so many of those motherfuckers. Yeah. I came in and I would make a pizza too. I would just walk in and uh, I'd be like, hey, let me make a pizza. Into Domino's? Yeah, because he was like working there. Yeah. And then I was going to make a pizza. It was so fucking fun. They had this cheese machine and it like disperses the cheese all over the pizza. It's oh, wild. So it's like even. Yeah. Huh. But anyway, he would bring home these fucking bread bowls all the time. God, they were good. Holy shit. They were good. So that was, that would be the end of my, I would get off work as a delivery driver in college and like Brad was too. So we'd get home and we'd like order Domino's and it would always just be like some chicken bacon ranch bread bowl. And then like a macaroni and cheese bread bowl. And we'd be like, <laughs> so if you go into the grocery store now, what, what are you, what's your comfort items? Cause I know, I know what I'm going to get. I don't know now. Cause it's not like a cheesy heavy thing like that. What's yours? I have to think. I would get, I'd probably get the Beecher's mac and cheese. Yeah. And I would get frozen chicken nugget. I think mine are probably like my bunny cookies, the Annie's Neapolitan bunny cookies. Yeah. And maybe also frozen chicken nuggets. because I like the impossible ones a lot. Those are good. But I don't really have a, a salty go-to anymore. Maybe I need to work on that. Do they not make a only strawberries Annie's bunny? They don't. And I, if they did, I'd be all over it. Yeah. Because that's the best part of the Neapolitan grouping. Yeah, we should see if they'll do it for us. Yeah, let's write them. <laughs> Dear Annie. <laughs> um, <laughs> it like, how, like how Ben and Jerry's gives people special flavors. Oh, yeah. Annie's could give us a special flavor. That'd be awesome. God, I would love to partner with a food brand. If would we do corn flavored things? Um... Maybe. Like a sweet corn thing would be fun. That would be nice. Do you remember when we had the sweet corn ice, ice creams? Cream? I wish I had more. <laughs> they were really good. Those things are great. <laughs> they, were, they had that little surprise chocolate inside. I would say also a hot dog's comfort food for me. 
I do love a hot dog. Yeah. In general, with a lot of like pickles. Do you know what one of my least favorite things about mac and cheese is when you order it out? What? It's when you when it's bad. Which is, I feel like it's more often than not that it is bad. Yeah. So you paid way too much for something that like you sucks. could have made at home and then it sucks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it's just, it just makes me so upset too because like they have all the resources yeah. available in the fucking kitchen. You know? It's so weird when it comes like some broken cheese sauce. Like so it's like yeah. butter noodles with some cheese on it. it. Makes me so sad. Which is a good thing I tried for the first time this past year. Yeah, so it's I know. great. The butter noodles with Parmesan. Situation. Wait, you tried for the first time? Yeah, I never. I always was like, that's dumb. Why would I just have noodles with butter? Yeah, you learned it's not. It's not. It's, it's delicious. How did you make it? I think we had leftover or candy. <laughs> you love that word. <laughs> so it was just that. And I just did the a bunch of melty butter and some uh, like Parmesan, like shaved par- Parmesan on it. Oh, you, oh we got to do it again. We, you got to get the, get the, the shake. Yeah. yeah, we didn't have that. You got to get it. Shockingly, our household does not. <laughs> um, that shaker parmesan is where it's at. I because it adds a grit. It a, it adds like it's a, the sawdust. Do you remember when you ate dog food? Yeah, and I do. There's a bone yeah. in it that was grinded up. It's a lot like that. That's, that doesn't sell it. I'll be honest. But. Well, no, but seriously though, because like the little like because the, the little texture. Yeah, yeah, on every noodle. Because God, now I want that tonight. Maybe we get Brad to make us that. I don't have dinner plans, so. But that is that is the thing. Like you got to get that, and then you got to have a little some type of green in there, even if it's just like parsley. No, 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 That's no. That's what no. I know. Is there any other? Do you salt and pepper it? You could put salt and pepper on it if you want, but okay. you don't need salt because the parmesan is, is yeah. salt. So it's just butter, parmesan noodle, yeah, pepper if you That's want, it. I guess. All but right. no, there's no parsley. There's nothing green in it. Is there butter noodles and Parmesan? So sorry. Yeah. Well, you didn't do it as a kid, so I wouldn't expect you to know. People love macaroni and cheese. It's just true. We talked about it. We really went on a journey. Yeah. I talked about the betrayal that you gave me via the Beecher's macaroni (laughs) and cheese incident. A real test of our friendship. We talked about the, um, how we grew up during childhood and ate macaroni and cheese. Yeah. So if you love macaroni and cheese, make sure you subscribe to our Patreon Slash the corn corner. Mm-hmm. There's going to be nothing about macaroni and cheese there other than ad free content. Yeah. Maybe we'll make macaroni and cheese for a video and just put it there. We're most likely not going to do that. Maybe but I'll I sing will the blue, say, box, blue Box Blues song. Say How that three times fast. Blue Box Blues. Blue Box Blues. Blue Box Blues. <laughs> it's hard. I did a good job. <laughs> okay. Well, also, I don't know. Do you have any goes. last words? <laughs> <laughs> Why? What's gonna happen? <laughs> Speak now, or forever hold your peace. No, I I can't live up to that right now. I got, right. I got nothing. I do want um I don't want mac and cheese, but I do want butter noodles. We're that's, gonna make butter noodles for Patreon, so everybody pop on in the Patreon. Yeah, that's it. I never know if that means you want to shake hands or what. I don't. It there. does not. Don't okay. want to shake hands. <laughs> Maybe I do. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching. (laughs) Wrap this up and uh, 